Okay, so this is Jeff with Lancaster Laser Supply. Today I'm going to show you how to laser engrave one of these metal pens. Um, this is not our rubberized one, this is all metal. Um, I'm going to show you here. So, I have three lines, but on the F1, the best way to do it is two lines at a time. This third line right here, the phone number, will be done on a second run. So I highlight the first two lines. Um, so you can see what my settings are right here. They are 66 power, 80 speed, two passes, 280 lines. Right now I'm gonna do the blue light and then I'm gonna do two passes of that. Then I'm gonna do two passes of the infrared and that's what will clean it all up. So I'm gonna show you uh, how to do that right here. I already have it all lined up, everything ready to go. You can you can see it right there. So I am gonna put my glasses on here and uh, stop framing because it is framed. I'm gonna process it. And this will take a couple minutes uh, to do these two lines. So you'll see the, the blue light here. We'll make two passes and sometimes I like to make three passes just to uh, make sure it gets all of it when this when the laser gets to the since the pins rounded when it gets to the front or back of it um, or the, the first part or the end part of the writing sometimes it has a hard time burning that part of it so the top of the L top of the S places like that um, for Lancaster Laser Supply. Um, those ones are sometimes harder to get to because it's at the curve area. Once it gets to the middle, now if I made the words smaller, it would be really easy. And I could also do this in three different runs. Um, I could do Lancaster Laser Supply on one run, flip it, do the email address or the, the website, LancasterLaserSupply.net and then flip it again and do the phone number so I can make them all bigger but I kind of like this one it goes pretty fast and kind of gets the job job done here of course I obviously made sure everything was in focus and things like that the lens is clean almost two minutes right now running we should almost be done here soon when it's done I'm not going to really move anything I'm just, just going to go in and change it to the IR then I'm going to hit run again um, but you might be able to see the letters kind of what they look like right now yeah so you can see the letters a little bit what they look like um, they're just dull right now I'm gonna switch it to the IR I did not change any settings or anything like that it's still gonna run two times all I'm gonna do is process it in the same exact thing now if you don't want to switch this you can make another uh, layer and do the first layer blue second layer uh, the IR, that's typically what I do, but I'm just showing you here, um, if you're doing one off or a couple, this isn't that big of a deal, but if you're running an order for a couple hundred, then um, I would I would put it on there to uh, have a layer. The first layer that runs has to be the blue layer, and then the second layer would be the IR layer to clean it up. Um, and you can see as this goes through, once it goes through the first run it's going to be pretty clean you're going to see uh, the words and everything really good um, it's going to be kind of uh, kind of shiny I do still just wipe it down a little bit with some uh, isopropyl alcohol uh, but uh, you can really wipe it down with anything but I just wipe it a little bit but really nothing is really left on it but uh, they come out super nice and bright and uh, this one's a, a blue pen. Um, 
but I have other colors that come out just as nice. The uh, rubberized ones also come out really nice. Um, I like both of them. Uh, the rubberized, rubberized ones are a little bit easier to hold um, just because they're a little softer. But um, I actually like the way the metal ones write better. It just feels like they're smoother. But maybe that's just me. So this is almost at two minutes. It's almost done here. You can see it's pretty bright right now. Uh, okay, so there's that one. Now I'm going to, and I usually put it right here, right at this uh, where the chrome part starts because what I'm going to do, I'm going to rotate this right here. So this part goes inside of it. Just like that. I'm going to move the framing of this down to switch it around, turn the number one on. So you can see how low it is right now. So I'm just moving it to where where it's going to make sense uh, to get it up on the thing. And I just, right now, I'm just going to eyeball it and make sure it's okay. I'm actually going to make it a little bit bigger on this one. Okay, so there's that. I'm going to run exactly the same settings. Uh, I shut the other settings off. This one's going to run actually a lot faster. It's only doing the uh, the number. Still making two passes. And I may have bumped the pen a little bit. Uh, but we'll see when we take it off. I'm not going to move it now since it already started. So the number might be a little bit not quite in the center of the rest of it. Okay, so that's the first pass. I'm going to just switch it to IR. Process it. And you'll see the, uh, the number brighten up a lot here. As it goes through the first pass and then the second pass just helps a little bit more. I'm sure you can change the settings a little bit. Maybe you can make it uh, higher power, It'll run a little bit faster, so it's faster. But um, this one seemed to work well for me. And I tried some different settings on here. Uh, this one seemed to come out the cleanest. Okay, so let's see what it looks like. It's pretty much in the center. Uh, I made it a little bit bigger, but you see how it how it looks. Uh, this is without cleaning it or anything so it comes out comes out pretty nice so feel free to check us out lancastrlasersupply.net uh, if you want to like the video that would greatly be appreciated and um, you can like us on facebook as well uh, join our facebook group we have uh, specials on there for people so please feel free to check us out and if you have any questions let me know